Now we will continue on with the installation of the Windows driver and as a precautionary measure we uh, turned off the Windows Defender uh, antivirus program and then we went ahead in the second part we also uh, turned off the Windows driver signature protection feature from the operating system setup. Uh, you must understand that after you reboot the computer always your Windows Defender even if you turned it off in the past is going to by default turn on. So I have to go in there, open it and turn this off again from the settings menu or your antivirus program so that uh, we can continue on with what we are doing. So this means your antivirus is off at least for some time. So now what I have done is this is my MCA. I'll connect it to a uh, USB cable. I have gone into the USB uh, port in here. Uh, I showed you earlier that how to recognize that you are actually connected is going to the control panel, going to device managers, and look at your ports and LPT feature in here. And you can see that it looks like it's connected to COM7. And the way to verify that is to disconnect that from COM7 or the COM port, your Windows. Uh, COM7 icon should disappear and reconnect it again and when you reconnect it again it again appears. In, in this particular case it looks like the general drivers for USB serial COM port are already loaded and they usually come from Windows. In some rare cases you may need to upload these from the Windows site. So now we are going to go ahead and start to install our MCA programs. We will go in here and open our desktop icon we will go into Windows Inspector 2.04 program setup run as administrator yes okay create the icons re-entry re-entry, re-entry and now it says the WinSpec inspector was completely installed. The re-entry features were necessary because it was looking for some driver files that is already there and to show you the driver files that it was looking for which is already installed during the installation process you can go into your control panel and you can go into programs and features and you can do look down here here you see that there are two windows driver package which is ftdi cdm driver packages these are the packages is looking for they are actually installed in the installation process as we are going through it if they are not installed they need to be reinstalled again in fact we have a different program in here for the windows driver package uh, which is uh, which might be here in the uh, installation cd uh, <coughs> If you extract this file, the WinSpec <coughs> file from original, we should see those driver packages. So if you have successfully installed the WinSpec system, then you are going to see an icon here. Uh, what you usually see is a particular <coughs> program here called MCA 166.1 MCA 527. And I can go ahead and select the WinSpec. <coughs> And then I can send this to the desktop as a shortcut, which is here. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, no problem. And then once I install, open the WinSpec program,